American Indian Myths and Legends, selected and edited by Richard Erdos and Alfonso Ortiz. Today we will be reading Salt Woman is Refused Food. Old Salt Woman had a grandson, and they were very poor. They came to Cochititi and went from house to house, but people turned them away. They were all busy cooking for a feast. At that time, they used no salt. When Salt Woman and her grandson had been to all the houses, they came to a place outside the Pueblo where lots of children were playing. All the children came to see the magic crystal Salt Woman had in her hand. She led them to a pinon, pinon tree and told them each to take hold of a branch of the tree and swing themselves. Using her magic crystal, she turned them into the Chaparral jays who live in pinon trees. When we were in the Pueblo, nobody would invite us to stay, Salt Woman said. From now on, you will be Chaparral jays. Chaparral jays. Salt Woman and her grandson went south and came to Santa Domingo, where they were well treated and fed. After they had eaten, were leaving, Salt Woman said, I am very thankful for being given food to eat, and she left with them some of her flesh. The people of the house ate it with their bread and meat. It tasted good. Salty. At Cochiti, Salt Woman told them, They treated me badly, and when I left, I took all the children outside the Pueblo and changed them into chaparral jays roosting in a pine on tree. But to you, I am grateful. Therefore, remember that if I am in your food, it will always taste better. I will go southeast and stay there. And if any of you want more of my flesh, you will find it at that place. And when you come together, let there be no laughing, no singing, nothing of that kind. Be quiet and clean. So she left Santa Domingo and went to Salt Lake, where we get salt today. From a legend recorded by Ruth Benedict in 1924, the, procure, the procuring of salt was and still is associated with a set of solemn ceremonies in the southwest. The journey to the source is considered a great odyssey or pilgrimage, and those making this trip must undergo elaborate rituals and carefully observe strict taboos. When they return, the entire experience is described in detail, analyzed, and preserved by the rest of the tribe. The mythic figure associated with salt is almost always an old woman, as we see here, and she often provides it through her mucus, which is shared among the people. Next time, the sacred weed. Thanks for watching.